Chin TVC News that one less than attention to business now in a significant move aimed at enhancing depositors' protection, public confidence, financial inclusion, and the stability of Nigeria's financial system. The Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation has announced an increase in the maximum deposit insurance coverage levels for all licensed deposit taking financial institutions with immediate effect. This was disclosed to the newsmen earlier today by the managing director, chief executive of the corporation, Mr. Bello Hassan. According to Mr. Hassan, the review underscores the corporation's unwavering commitment to protecting depositors and contributing to the stability of the Nigerian financial system and dedication to adapting to the evolving financial industry landscape. While the NDIC raised deposit insurance coverage for deposit money banks from 500,000 to 5 million, it raised coverage for the microfinance banks from 200,000 to 2 million naira. In the same manner, the coverage for primary mortgage banks was raised from 500,000 to 2 million. For the payment service banks, the NDIC increased the insurance coverage from 500,000 to 2 million naira, while maximum coverage for subscribers of mobile money operators has been increased from 500,000 to 5 million naira accordingly. Elsewhere, the Center for the Promotion of Private Enterprises is asking the Central Bank of Nigeria to adopt a framework that minimizes volatility and the cost of stitch exchange rate. Founder of the center, Dr. Muda Yusuf, in a statement in Lagos said, this will boost investors' confidence and drive economic growth while noting that the frequent changes in the cost of stitch exchange rate have become a huge burden on the business community. According to CPP boss, the situation has led to high volatility in cargo clearing cost, worsening inflationary pressures and aggravating investment risk, especially in the rail sector of the economy. He stated that these frequent changes were detrimental to production, planning, and other rail sector activities in the Nigerian economy, and said it is a double challenge for investors to contend, especially with volatility in the foreign exchange market and high level of unpredictability in the international trade ecosystem. As part of its effort to cushion the impacts of the ongoing fuel scarcity in the country, the managing director of the NNPC Retail Limited, Mr. Hoop Stockman, says it is ready to deploy compressed natural gas stations in Abuja and Lagos in the coming days in partnership with NIMCO. The managing director will double as the chairman of Major Energies Marketers Association of Nigeria, Neman, disclosed these on our flagship business program yesterday when he appeared alongside the CEO of the association, Mr. Clement Nisok. Already very uh, advanced to, to put the, the, the size on. Uh, NIPCO already had them, yeah? But we're adding to, but we as NMPC Retail will start now too in, in May, and so I would say watch this space. Um, and, and also uh, NIPCO N double one PLC was a, is a, is a member member, will also add size to, to their network in, in um, in May, so I would say uh, without without going too far, but that's there's actually some real good movement, and it, it won't stop there. It will not stop stop there. We have a very clear plan for rollout of CNG, both for the commercial uh, vehicles and, and the private vehicles uh, going forward. Complementing that is the investment on CNG. Um, that was a little bit different because it is we're starting from scratch, and uh, it requires a, a, a different uh, parallel uh, line of infrastructure, uh, pipelines, uh, mother stations, daughter stations. It's quite expensive to do, uh, so um, um, it appears as if uh, people haven't actually seen the investments that have gone in uh, compression uh, centers and everything. But all that is about to change. I can tell you, uh, you, I think, is the first person to tell you his own because uh, uh, they have made significant investments. Many of my members uh, will roll out. Uh, many of them have rolled out already, but the, the mass rollout uh, you will begin to see. And now, Nigeria's leading listed conglomerate with investment in the past sector. A hospitality and energy sectors transactional corporation POC has delivered impressive financial results for the period and in March 31, 2024. 
The conglomerate reported significant year-on-year -year growth with revenue rising to 88.6 billion naira from 32.4 billion naira in 2023, representing a 773% increase in its own audited results. This growth is largely driven by a 409% year-on-year revenue growth within the power business a 68% year-on-year growth in the hospitality business. A president Group Chief Executive Officer of Transcorp, Dr. Owen Omogiafo, reacting to the results, said this achievement is a demonstration of the group's strategic focus and effective execution. She added that amid environmental challenges, the group achieved growth across all major indices, showing ability to adapt and succeed in changing markets. And outside Nigeria, Asian stocks in U.S. futures rose earlier today after the Federal Reserve downplayed risk of an interest rate hike while the yen was bumpy after another burst of suspected intervention from Japan. S&P 500 futures rose by 0.5%, pointing to the cash market recouping a late slide on Wall Street. MSCI's broad index of Asia Pacific shares outside Japan climbed 0.6%, uh, led by a 2% surge in Hong Kong's. A Tokyo Snicket was flat, a Treasury rallied, pushing yields lower, as the Fed also said it would slow down its balance sheet runoff. 10-year Treasury yields rose by 3.3% basis point to 4.62% in Tokyo, having fallen 9.3 basis point in New York. The dollar was last up about 1% to 156 yen. The euro was up 1% at 167.19, and the Aussies were trading near 102 yen. And now the U.S. Federal Reserve held interest rates steady and signaled it. It's still leaning towards reductions in borrowing costs, but put a red flag on inflation readings. Fed Chair Jerome Powell said it will take longer than it previously expected for policymakers to become comfortable that inflation will resume the decline towards 2% that had cheered them through much of last year. Fed Chair added that rate increases remain unlikely, but stage has been set for an extended hold on the benchmark policy rate in the 5.25% to 5.5% range that has been in place since July. Central bankers believe the current policy rate is putting pressure on economic activity to bring inflation under control. Away from there now, latest report from the Hong Kong Monetary Authority shows that the country kept its base rate charge through the discount window unchanged at 5.75%. The report also reveals that high interest rate environments may last for some time, adding that the Fed has not yet gained enough confidence about the U.S. inflation trajectory to start cutting interest rate. The dollar exchange rate remains stable, while interbank rates might remain high for some time. HSBC Holdings said it kept its best lending rate in Hong Kong unchanged at 5.87%. And in 